Regional Division of the Great Plains Introduction the Great Plains, also known as the High Plains or the American Prairies, constitute a vast and distinctive geographic region in North America. Stretching across the central part of the continent, this expansive area encompasses multiple states and provinces, offering a diverse landscape, climate, and cultural heritage. In this essay, we will explore the regional division and characteristics of the Great Plains, providing insights into its geological history, climate variations, ecological diversity, and the impact of human settlement on this remarkable region. Geological History Understanding the geological history of the Great Plains is essential for appreciating its distinctive features and regional divisions. The formation of the Great Plains can be summarized in several key stages. Sediment Accumulation the formation of the Great Plains began millions of years ago as sediments from the Rocky Mountains and other nearby mountain ranges were carried eastward by rivers like the Arkansas, Platte, and Missouri. These sediments gradually accumulated on the low-lying terrain, forming a vast, relatively flat expanse. Glacial Activity During the Pleistocene epoch, the Great Plains were influenced by repeated glaciations. Glacial advances and retreats reshaped the landscape, creating features like moraines, glacial lakes, and outwash plains. The legacy of glaciation is particularly evident in the northern reaches of the region. Fluvial processes. River systems like the Missouri and its tributaries played a crucial role in shaping the Great Plains. These rivers carved out deep valleys and deposited fertile alluvial soils, making certain areas highly suitable for agriculture. Regional Division. The Great Plains can be divided into several distinct regions, each characterized by its unique geographical, climatic, and ecological attributes. Northern Great Plains. Geography. The northern portion of the Great Plains extends into Canada and includes provinces like Alberta and Saskatchewan. Climate. This region experiences colder temperatures due to its northern latitude, with harsh winters and short growing seasons. Ecosystem. Grasslands dominate the landscape, with areas like the Alberta Prairie offering prime grazing land for cattle. Central Great Plains Geography The central part of the Great Plains covers states such as Nebraska, Kansas, and parts of Oklahoma and Texas. Climate A semi-arid climate prevails, characterized by hot summers, cold winters, and low annual precipitation. Ecosystem the central plains feature a mix of grasslands, shrublands, and limited forests along river valleys. Agriculture, particularly wheat farming, is common. Southern Great Plains. Geography. Encompassing parts of Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico, the southern plains are notably arid. Climate. This region experiences a more extreme arid and semi-arid climate, with hot summers and sporadic rainfall. Ecosystem. The landscape here is primarily composed of desert grasslands, with limited agricultural activity, but ranching is prevalent. Eastern Great Plains. Geography. This region extends into states like Iowa, Missouri, and Arkansas. Climate. The climate becomes more humid as one moves eastward, with more pronounced seasonal variations. Ecosystem. Agriculture is a major feature of the eastern plains, with fertile soils supporting crops like corn, soybeans, and wheat. Characteristics of the Great Plains To comprehend the unique characteristics of the Great Plains, we must consider several key aspects. Climate variations The region exhibits a wide range of climates, from semi-arid to humid, with significant variations in temperature and precipitation. Ecological diversity the Great Plains showcase diverse ecosystems, including grasslands, savannas, riparian zones along riverbanks, and wetlands. These ecosystems support a rich array of wildlife, including bison, pronghorn, prairie dogs, and various bird species. Agriculture. Agriculture is a vital economic activity, with the region being a major producer of wheat, corn, soybeans, and cattle. Advances in farming techniques have allowed for sustainable agriculture in various parts of the plains. Water resources. Water sources, especially the Ogallala Aquifer, are critical for irrigation and provide drinking water to the region. However, overuse of aquifers raises concerns about water depletion. Cultural heritage. The Great Plains have a rich cultural heritage, including Native American communities and European settlers. 
Historic sites like the Oregon Trail and Native American reservations are integral parts of the region's identity. Challenges and conservation. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the unique ecosystems and wildlife of the Great Plains. Challenges include land degradation, habitat loss, and water scarcity due to overextraction. Impact of human settlement. The settlement and development of the Great Plains have significantly transformed the landscape and the region's character. Factors such as agriculture, transportation networks, and urbanization have left an enduring mark on the area. Agriculture. The Great Plains have become the breadbasket of the United States, with extensive agricultural practices contributing to the nation's food security. However, intensive farming has led to soil erosion and ecological changes. Urbanization. Cities and towns, such as Denver, Omaha, and Amarillo, have emerged as centers of commerce and culture. Urbanization has brought economic opportunities but also challenges, including managing water resources and urban sprawl. Transportation. The construction of railroads and highways has facilitated the movement of goods and people across the region. It has also fostered economic growth but has sometimes led to habitat fragmentation. Thank you.